Hey Libra, we're going to go ahead and take a look at your individual energy, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. We're going to go ahead and take a look. I pulled five cards for you guys. I'm going to try and figure this one out because I'm looking. I'm not sure what's what here. If I had to look at it, I would say... I don't know what this is. I don't know. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get into it. You guys are in this Queen of Wands energy. That is beautiful. You operate in integrity. You guys are being creative. You're also sensitive to other people's feelings, which I think is beautiful. I love that. I love when you can feel what other people feel, right? But be careful with that, not to take too much of it on, Libra. But it says here that because you're such a nurturing person, people tend to draw to you. You're naturally popular. It says that you're a good talker as well as a good listener. Libra, if you guys have been in need of somebody influential in your lives, it looks like somebody's going to come in, right? This Queen of Wands, if this isn't you, maybe you're entering somebody's life who needs some sort of assistance, right? Maybe you guys are able to effectively communicate your ideas, exactly what you want people to know, or in some cases, what the Most High is telling you to say. I think you guys got that, right? So you tell what you're supposed to tell. You listen and you're great at it. You talk, you're great at it. And it says here that you operate in confidence. There's something about mastery, self-assurance. And it also says here, you don't care about what other people think, right? So you guys probably have been through some stuff and people have said what they had to say and they're still coming at you with the nonsense, but you're still very confident in who you are. It says that you should not be afraid to try new things. I feel like there might be this looking energy because when I take a look at this Queen of Wands here... She works out of integrity, but she's looking. I'm looking to make sure that what I invest in is correct. I want to make sure that this satisfaction, you see how she has a face of satisfaction? It's not necessarily that she's like 100% happy, but she's content. She's happy. She knows that whatever's going on, she's going to operate in a certain way. She's like, you know what? No matter what kind of stones these folks throw at me, <laughs> I'm going to operate in integrity. I'm still going to continue to listen, but I am not going to be afraid to try new things. So I feel like you guys are looking. You're taking a look. In some cases, what's out there, I feel like, Libra, you guys might be in the the, uh, the energy of love, looking for love, wanting love, something like that. And I feel like you're being very careful about who it is you, I guess, whoever it is you entertain, right? I have the Knight of Swords. Is it Knight of Swords? Yeah. We have the Knight of Cups that actually comes up reversed here. So it's somebody that you guys are looking at. Now, this could be um, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio energy. There's somebody in this energy. You might just be looking. Maybe you're just looking at this person. It may not necessarily be about love. This could actually be somebody you know. But we also have the Page of Swords. So that's more confirmation if somebody's looking. I feel like you're looking, but there's somebody else looking at them. With the Knight of Cups being reversed here, whoever this person is, Libra, this person can be very dangerous. And I feel like you've been alerted to whoever this person is. So this person can be dangerous if you believe anything that this person says, it's not a good idea to trust them. Only because this person is a person who schemes. They're a fantasist. So they'll sell you a fantasy. They're a schemer. If you talk to anybody about this person, they're going to tell you about the broken promises. And it's just more confirmation of what you see. I feel like you guys are looking at what you see, right? Looking at what you were listening to what you hear and actually looking at the person's behaviors or something like that i feel like you guys are definitely looking and you don't trust this person whoever they are the cancer Pisces, scorpio energy it also says here that what this person is offering you because i feel like this person offered you something of love when you look at the knight of cups in its upright form it's going to talk about a romantic proposal so somebody said hey i really like you let me ask you out or hey i'm interested in you or hey you know you're really attractive. I'm interested in getting to know you, right? This is a romantic proposal. Let's have dinner. I'd like to build a future with you, right? But we don't get this from this person. With the Knight of Cups coming out reverse, this is one of those folks that you're dangerous. You know, no matter what you do for a living, they're dangerous to you, dangerous to your business, your health, all those things. This is a chaotic person. This chaotic person who operates in sexual excess. So they're all about the, the D or the P. That's all they're about, right? That's what they do. As a matter of fact, it says that they do this impulsively. So this person could have some kind of, they don't think before they sleep with people. They could have some sexual demon or something like that, or maybe they just don't care. It says that this person operates in the energy of a jerk face who's somebody who's, is they they have unreal, unrealistic expectations of you. So this is somebody who could have been interested in you, 
But it's also something here where it looks like three of cups. Now that can be considered a celebration in some cases. As a matter of fact, it is friendship. It's a celebration, a circle of support. Some of you guys could actually be reaching out to your friends. You're looking and also asking questions. These questions that you're asking these people, I feel, are more in an interview form or, hey, tell me more about your friend type of thing. I don't necessarily feel like it's going to be... Um, I don't feel like you guys are just going to jump in. I think you guys already have some sort of inkling that this Knight of Cups reverses somebody who's not to be trusted. I think you guys well understand that this person does not have any substance and they're full of chaos. That means that when you deal with them, all drama, all drama, Libra, you don't want to deal with that stuff. Now, we also have the Page of Swords here. Now, for some of you guys, you could have actually been in something with this person and attained a relationship with this person. I feel like for some of you guys... The Queen of Wands had given more than they received. They gave a lot to this friendship. In some cases, this could be a friendship. In some cases, this could be love. For some of you guys, you have a partner who, who's your significant other, right? Arguing with a friend of yours because they don't like your friend. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I don't trust your friend. Your friend is shady. I think you need the this and that. And I, for some of you guys, you could be caught in between two different situations that could be pulling you. But I will say, for some of you guys, you never know where you stand with this person. I personally feel like this is an extension of the Knight of Cups reverse here. Or maybe these are your feelings here with the Page of Swords reverse here. Talking about you never know where you stand with this person. You don't know if this person is a robber, a thief, or something like that. Please keep in mind here, this person could be a gossip. But this person is also a master manipulator. That is Libra Aquarius Gemini energy. This person continuously looks at you guys, but it says here that they keep you guessing with misinformation. So whatever this person is telling you, right, if this is a separate person, this page of storage reversed here, Libra Aquarius Gemini energy, this could, this could be you giving people misinformation, but I really feel like this is somebody else, Libra. I don't feel like this is you. This person could be a thief, giving you misinformation, full of lies and deceptions, deception. This person or, you know, this person could be somebody you're interested in. This person could be somebody else's kid. Somebody's child could be doing this to you or this could be your kid. There's something about bad news coming in about a child. For some of you guys, this is a warning that there are going to be some legal or tax issues, Libra, or something that involves your child. Legal tax issues. Something. Some of you guys may have made a claim or maybe somebody claims your kid on taxes or something like that possibility maybe somebody claims your child illegally there's something about that there's something about bad news there's something about news that you don't want to hear about a weak kid who was susceptible to offers susceptible to bribes like that type of a weak kid somebody who's weak will right they just kind of giving because it sounds good but this leads to some sort of legal or tax issues all right for some of you guys you may not have received news that you are waiting for the cards are saying that you're also, people are interpreting your energy, Libra, to be harsh. It is what it is. For some of you guys, you have to separate yourself from these issues. That's why you're very seriously looking. You're like, I need to look and see what this situation is about. So there's somebody that you can't trust here. I feel like this energy is an extension of the Knight of Cups reversed here. I feel like this person is looking. I feel like this person is manipulative. I feel like this person is a gossip and somebody's kid is involved too. Now we also have, I'm sorry guys, excuse me, the two of cups here. Now the two of cups does come out reversed. It talks about some commitment, how somebody doesn't want to commit to a relationship, a marriage or something like that. There was supposed to be a promise of marriage, a promise of a relationship. You guys were in a relationship with this person. They promised you something. It says here that you were not able to reach an agreement easily for some of you guys you were but some of you guys you were not that's kind of the energy that i'm getting it says here if you were able to reach some sort of an agreement in this relationship that you guys are in with this person whether it be business or love it goes on to say that there could be reconciliation after discord if that's the libra you are some of you guys are not going back some of you guys are just looking and you're like, I'm looking, I see what it was, I see what it is, I'm not entertaining this, right? So you could be ignoring this two of cups reversed here, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. One willing is un one person is unwilling to commit to this relationship. If I had to guess, I'm going to say it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. Only because we have cups here, we're the Knight of Cups that shows up. Or 
one of you guys are not willing to commit to this relationship. That could be easily you, Libra, because you're looking. You're like, I'm looking, but I'm not entertaining. I refuse to give anything to this nonsense, anything to this, uh, I don't know, this scheme. Remember, there's a big scheme involved here, too. So somebody, this could be a romance scam. Somebody could be lying to you, scheming, whatever this is about. But you see that with the Knight of Cups reversed here. This person is a fantasist. This person goes from town to town having sex with different people. And they say, I love you and I want to settle with you. And you're looking because you don't believe it and you shouldn't because you don't know where you stand. You heard all types of stuff about this, this, this person. So there's a breakup, a separation, or there's some disinterest on your end, Libra. It says that you don't want to be bothered with this nonsense, literally. It says breakup, separation, disinterest, or arguments, and arguments, right? But it also looks like there is some kind of reconciliation. I feel like for some of you guys, you opted to stay friends with somebody, possibly. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio versus being involved with them romantically. It looks like there's a friendship growing. There's something about growth. There's healing. There's going to be a celebration. This person... This person could want to bring things to a new level of commitment. For some of you guys, that's going to mean that you're going to renew with this person. And then you guys are going to go on and have children. You have the two of cups, which becomes three. The three of cups usually in some cases could be a child, right? It's a circle of support. But you have to look at, never mind. I, anyway. Yeah, so there's a possibility that the two of cups becomes three. And there's some sort of a child born or something. Or this just could be a collection of friends that get together after a time of discord to celebrate something. I will say this though, right? For some of you guys, these friends, because for some of you guys, these are not old friends. For some of you guys, you get into this situation, you withdraw from this situation because you have the two of cups. That's a breakup. Again, separation, arguments, and disinterest. And it looks like you guys start to focus more on the people or you find new people who have the same interests as you on the same spiritual level as you something like that these people are going to fill you physically and emotionally there's going to be friendship there's going to be a group of people you are widening your circle so if you guys have a group of friends and some of these people are being phased out due to fs behavior <laughs> some of you guys are growing at a pace that these people cannot keep up with right i feel like for some of you guys here um, you might have been in a place where, you know, you got a lot of friends, you go to a lot of parties, you hang out with a lot of people. But as you grow, Libra, these people, they I, I don't want to say they trigger you, but they start to, once you see that there are some, some things that come up that seem deceitful or lies that are obvious or behaviors that are questionable, you guys start looking. You don't just invest as fast. As fast. I feel like for some of you guys also, you might even have children involved in this too, right? So that's another reason why you would be mega careful about who you get involved with. I feel like whoever you guys run into, they are going to lift your spirits though. All right. So what is this Knight of Cups? What is the lie? I mean, I think we know that already. They're chaotic. They want what they want. They're impulsive. They're moody. They want to sleep with you and everybody else in the next town. We get that. But what could it mean for? Why is the Queen of Wands, you Libra, looking? Okay. Oh, okay. There's something with this Virgo energy here. Now, it says here, wisdom, salt. You're trying to find some sort of information on this person. For some of you guys, you could have this feeling that this person could be involved in something here, right? Divine inspiration. You guys are investigating something. Whenever you see the Hermit card, it's about taking a step back. If we want to keep it in context of this read, taking a step back and really investigating the situation. Virgo is a card of investigation. It is a card of, it could be an investigator, a private eye, somebody looking into something. Um, whatever that is, right? So I feel like this could be your energy where you're looking, right? You're looking to see if you can integrate. Integration and attachment. Can I attach to this person? Am I able to build something with this person? That's the energy that I'm getting here. We also have here the tower. The tower comes out reverse, guys. Now the tower is unwanted changes, ruin, and also disgrace. If you look at the tower reverse, it's going to tell you that it's about oppression. Somebody's oppressing you. Somebody's trying to be a dictator in your energy. We see that somebody is uh, a burdened security, right? So they were not able to be secure with something. And because they were not able to secure something, hold something down, keep something a secret, there's going to be some sort of a change that this person is fearing. For some of you guys, Libra, you know that there's a Virgo out there who's going to end up incarcerated. For some of you guys, you know 
that there's a great possibility that there's a Scorpio who's going down for something. The Tower card's coming up reverse here. So somebody who seeks change would be the Tower card. That would be something that is unwanted and it's a disgrace, but you know it. But the Tower reverse actually lands you in jail. Some of you guys could actually be Worried about being trapped in something, confinement, that would be prison, that would be jail, that would be a situation where your foundation is falling. Some of you guys are not going to be able to make your bills or that's, these are these people, Libra, they're probably, it's something where they're not going to be able to make their bills or they put you in a position where you couldn't, but I don't see that on your face. I see that this Virgo here is probably incarcerated because that's what one of the, that's what one of the meanings for the hermit is. Somebody could have been doing something with the government. This could be government related, government benefits where somebody did something that is fraudulent. The tower card symbolizes jail, but it also symbolizes insurance fraud. So I think you guys might have some questions about that. Or are you looking to see if this is true? Is that true? Did Virgo really? Oh, child. Libra, you like Virgo going to jail over insurance fraud. What? I think you're looking. Scorpio's going to jail for insurance fraud. What? Your Knight of Cups could actually be a Scorpio. The Knight of Cups in reverse, sleeping from town to town, person to person, not to be trusted. That could be a Scorpio. Could be a male energy, could be a female energy. Take it how it resonates. But when we look at the card and we see he is a knight, I would, you know, I, I, I equate it to male energy. But at the end of the day, women can have that energy also. All right, well, we got the King of Cups. I ain't asked my question. King of Cups came out reverse. Subtle, crafty. You know that this person is doing something shady. You don't necessarily trust them, and you know that they're imbalanced in whatever it is you're doing. All right, so give me the Knight of Cups. We have that. You are looking because you've heard some things. You heard about somebody having a history of jail in the past, and they might be going back. Um, for some of you guys here, this also has to do with some sort of finances with the Four of Pentacles here. For some of you guys, you understand that somebody could be going to jail. This could be different people, guys, right? Queen of Wands, you Libra, you could be in hermit energy where you're just stepping back and looking. Like, I want to see what's going on. Or there's something, or you're looking at somebody being hauled off to the jailhouse on hold, the hermit card. Possibility, right? Somebody could be going to jail. We also see here the tower card. Some of you guys are going to see that there's a Scorpio who runs into some sort of a sudden illness. The tower card also symbolizes a sudden illness. It talks about accidents. Could be arson. But it could be an illness, a chronic illness, all right? And it's going to have some sort of impact on somebody's body, Scorpio. If there's a Scorpio energy around you, Libra, there's a possibility they might say to you, my bones hurt, my, my body aches. There's some illness here that's having an impact on their body. It could be bones, it could be whatever. It displays and you see it because you can see this person's face, Libra. I also see here there could be a Capricorn in your energy. Some of you guys have this suspicion that whoever... These people are, especially with this, uh, the page of swords, somebody's looking at somebody's money. Libra, could you be investigating somebody's money? There's something about somebody trying to have control over you or some sort of stability. Somebody's trying to control their stability and they are looking. They're looking because they know that you give more than you actually receive. Somebody maybe wants to come in and gain some control over you for your finances. I also want you to know, too, that this Libra Aquarius Gemini energy could be embezzling money with the Four of Pentacles. This is embezzlement. That's somebody taking money off the top, putting it in account, sending it over to Africa, sending it over to God knows where, whatever, right? But this is somebody trying to control your money. They're trying to send you towers so that you maybe don't see this, but you look and you see everything. You're like, I see you, stupid. I see you're crazy. I see you ain't got it all. Mm. It also talks about somebody having a broken heart. I'm not going to take it, but it was one of the cards that fell out. Um, so, yeah, you guys, you guys are looking at somebody who might go to jail for embezzlement. And not only is it embezzlement, but it's also insurance fraud through the government with the hermit card, possibly. Or somebody's just investigating something. They might be recluding. Um, yup. This is some kind of fights going on, obstacles. You guys are going to start to see that there was somebody that tried to put obstacles in the middle of your love life. It could have been a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio with this Two of Cups reverse here, right? Where somebody wasn't able to commit. Maybe they weren't able to commit because it had to do with some kind of fighting, somebody getting in the way. For some of you guys, you had a Leo, a Leo who was going around saying things or something like that or getting in the middle of your relationship or somebody that you guys have separated from as a friend, right? Because of some arguments. 
Some of you guys, like I said, because of spiritual growth, you're not interested in these people. I'm not interested in fighting with you. But I, but the Leo is like, I am going to cause you some kind of obstacles. This two of cups, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I am going to cause you obstacles in your love life. With a Leo, maybe you guys were dealing with a Leo, but this is threats. Somebody's making threats. Libra, you could be being threatened by a Capricorn. You could be being threatened by a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I don't know if this Leo is threatening folks out loud. I don't know what that is. Somebody's threatening somebody. Give me, tell, clarify the three of cups because it looks like, it looks like you're looking, but it looks like wishes coming true. Somebody's fighting so their wishes can, uh, can come true. This could be a Pisces who's fighting over something. It could be a Pisces in the middle of your energy here fighting over something or, um... Somebody's fighting for their wish to come true. That could be you. Like, you could be, you know what? You guys have put so much crap in my way. I'm going to line y'all up now. Like, target practice. I'm going to start knocking you out one by one. The world. I'm going to start punching. I'm going to punch you with them words. Whatever you're going to do, right? I feel like you guys are fighting for your happiness. And I feel like the people up against you seem to be a Virgo. There's Scorpio energy. There's Capricorn. It's like all these people. There's Leo. And there's a Pisces that comes up. All right? But it does feel like there's some sort of alliance. So maybe some of you guys do have an alliance with a Pisces possibility because you have the three of cups. Something grows after a time of discord. All right. So somebody's recovering. You guys could be recovering from this situation with a Gemini or there's a Gemini recovering from something. Rebirth, beneficial, improvement, advantage, and profit. All right. Somebody didn't get their profit. Somebody hit the Ten of Swords reversed here. The Ten of Swords reverse is going to symbolize somebody who's at rock bottom. It's a painful ending that somebody could be recovering from. Again, remember that pain I was telling you about? Somebody could be experiencing some sort of back pains. Could be a Gemini. They could, their bones could be aching. You also have a Scorpio that may have some body aches. You have somebody being investigated by the government. Over arson. Over insurance fraud. Anything else I need to, what is this, uh, what's the rock bottom about? Why the wish is coming true? Somebody's wish didn't come true. That's basically what it equates to. What else do I need to know about the Howard, uh, the hermit and the tower? Maybe somebody's name is Howard. I don't know. Somebody's name could be Howard. It slipped out. It ain't slipped out for nothing. Ace of swords. Somebody got some logic. Somebody got some new information, a breakthrough of ideas of what was going on in some situation. Air energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody wanted to know how this whole thing began, so they went back and done some sort of research to find that they were enlightened by what they found. They said, woo child. Woo. Look at all this going on. Like, what, now, what is this person going to do with the information or clarity that they found about this tower? Reverse. They found that there's a queen of wands. You, Libra. They found that you're warm. You're passionate. You're enthusiast. You're an enthusiast. Or you're enthusiastic. It says that you're adaptable. So all these things have been happening to you and you guys still found a way to be a steady force and operate in independence, right? So we see that even with the tower fall in reverse. Remember, it looks like you got somebody in the government looking. And when they looked, it says here that they saw something. I see something. I want to get to the heart of the matter. I want to get to the bottom line of looking. All right. So the Ace of Swords is going to be somebody who's trying to understand what the conflict is about. There's a air energy or this could be again this could be um this could be the government who's looking they're asking questions about a surgery somebody had they're getting mental clarity on a surgery somebody had they are getting clarity on some sort of conflict that's playing out something with the world wide web there's something that's online about a queen of wands somebody released something or look they're either looking at you queen of wands on a world wide web or the government is looking at what they put out on a world wide web about you Hmm. what else do i need to know anything else yep this is going to lead to you guys having some sort of glory satisfaction right vitality something's going to bring you some sort of new life it might be this world card there's going to be the end of something oh libra maybe the death of a scorpio was going to bring you some sort of new life i'm not getting that though i feel like whatever this is this worldwide web I think it illuminated something with the sun card. I feel like it leads to happiness and a joyous outcome. 
It also leads to the death of something. There's a Scorpio out there that something's going to be. There's a transformation. So that could be them moving from one place to another. Or this could simply be somebody changing. And there's a great fear of change, it looks like. But there's a death coming or there's an end of a situation coming for you. Somebody's calling judgment. There's going to be a judgment called against these folks, right? Failure to face the facts, delays, and disappointment. The judgment card. With the judgment card coming up. Reverse, you have somebody here. It's probably going to be a Scorpio. Oh, twice. It could be a Scorpio. And it could also be a Leo who's going to sit there and deny something to the government when the government has proof, right? They're fearing some sort of change with a reversed judgment. So you have a Scorpio who's feeling some sort of change or fearing change. Whole lifestyle is going to change. Some cases, you're going to lose a Scorpio. There are some Scorpios who are not going to make it or it's going to be in the end of a situation. However, it's a necessary change. It was something that had to happen. But it also says that you have a Scorpio who's going to deny something. You guys have a Leo who could deny something. It's big Scorpio here. Big Scorpio. Somebody's going to deny something about a judgment. They're going to say, oh, I didn't do it. Now, we got you. We see what you did. I'm looking at you, says the government. For real, that's what Virgo is. This was somebody was taking, somebody was collecting some government benefits or something. This has to do with a child. Somebody's wishes did not come true, and now they're rock bottom. This could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. It could be another Libra, or this could be your energy. I really feel like this is somebody else. I feel like somebody tried to do the okie doke on you. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I think that's enough. Let me get one card for you. One card for Libra. Libra, give me one card for Libra, please. Libra. Yep. Check it. Ain't that about it? Somebody tried to steal something from you. Look at that. Somebody's being sneaky, stealing something from you. Could have been an Aquarius. Some of you guys had an Aquarius try and uh, take something from you. They were dishonest. They betrayed you. There was an Aquarius who might have betrayed you. We got that, right? They use some kind of tactics to trick you so that you'd have low self-esteem. So you won't be able to look and fight back at these demons that are coming up to you, Libra. All these lying male energies or whatever they are. Anyways, we have Libra for you. You will receive a check or paper money soon. Listen. Hold up. Amen. If you are the good Queen of Wands, which this energy is showing up... Queen of Wands shows up twice. You got some money coming to you. It's going to be a check or paper money very soon. Also, your troubles will vanish. Happiness ahead. Listen, you are, you are missing many opportunities. Take advantage. So if you guys have people reaching out to you, take advantage of those opportunities. If you see people trying to befriend you, right, be there for you, support you. Even if you guys are online and you, you, you know, you test the spirit. This person could be very valuable to you. This person or whoever this is, these opportunities, when you deal with these people, you make sure you test the spirit. All right. Also, help your friend who is in need. He will bring you good luck. You guys might have a male friend who's in need. Libra, I love you guys. I really do. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.